Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, Clayton Brown back here. We're now going to talk about editing your home page. Alright, so if you want to make edits of anything you see here, you're actually not editing your home page. Um, up here is your menu options, and here is your slider. So if you want to edit this thing, you're going to be editing your slider. We went over that in the website layout, though, so you should already know that. Everything from here down, though, is going to be edited in your home page. Alright, so to edit the home page, let's go ahead and head to all pages from your admin bar. Sometimes you gotta hover over this and it will slide out to the right there, click on all pages. You're gonna scroll down to home, click on that, and remember we're gonna back this up before we make any edits to it. So to back that up, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna hit, once it loads, you're gonna wanna hit the default editor. All right, default editor, then hit the text tab over here. All right, you're gonna command A, command C, open up a new text file, copy paste that in there, save that off in your home folder. Again, if you don't know what I'm doing here, watch that backups video about backing up the pages and the sidebars. All right. So you're gonna save that as the date, of course. Now, since I'm not actually making any updates, I'm not gonna actually back it up. All right. Once you're done making the backup, you are then going to want to click back on the Fusion Page Builder. This button right here. All right. Now again, this is only for the home page. You're going to want to click on the Fusion Page Builder after you've backed up the hard code. All right. So now, this top block, code block, this is the slider. There's really nothing to edit here. This just calls the layer slider. Again, to edit that, go to your layer, sl layer slider video. Beneath that, you've got your full width container. You want to make changes to any of these elements. You're going to see when you hover over these boxes, these little icons appear. You want to click on the one to the far left. The far left of the three, that is. This is the edit button. Notice as I hover over these, that button appears. All right? So for instance, if I want to make changes to this block over here, which is to the left of the map, by the way, this is the Google Map. This is another short code. If you want to change the Google map on the home page, you're going to be looking for the maps down here on the bottom left. Okay, moving forward, again, if you want to make changes to this text block, you're going to actually hover over it, click the little edit button right there, and then you're going to want to make changes in either the text, which is the hard code, or the visual. For you, it's probably going to be easier to do the visual. Now, you'll notice this stuff looks pretty obvious. Down here, though, you have a button. Sorry, guys, there was no easy way to put buttons in. So, what you're going to have to do if you want to make changes to this button is change this actual text right here. If you want to change the text that is on the button, if you want to change the link, you're going to be changing this bit right here. All right? Okay. Once you're done making your changes, hit Save. I don't need to make any changes. Once you hit Save, though, you have to hit Update. Again, save and then update. All right. Now, again, you've got another slider on the home page. So if you want to make changes to this here, you're again going to be watching your layer slider video. All right, folks. And again, now just remember, save and then update. All right, so for your flip boxes, these things you see, you've got three of them here and another one down here at the bottom. If you want to make changes to these, it's not super easy, but it is a uh, admin created tool, all right? So there's not a lot of code to it. So let me show you how to do that. So the top three, you'll see flip boxes, columns three. For the bottom one, you'll see flip boxes, columns one. So for the top three boxes, if you want to make a change, hover over the actual flip boxes box, click on this little edit icon right here. Once you've done so, click on flip boxes item one for the left, two for the center, and three for the right. Once you've done so, you'll see the options you see on the flip box itself. The connect with people in God. Um, this is all pretty standard. It's actually going to tell you what this text actually represents. All right. If you want to make a change to the bit that's uh, on the back side here, You'll see you've got another button. Now we just went over buttons, so reference that if you want to make changes here. All right. If you want to change the icon, you can do so here. 
and so on and so forth. Once you're done, hit save and then update. All right, guys, that should about do it, and I'll see you in the next video.